back to my channel. So today's video, I am stationed elsewhere yet again. I am filming in the bedroom that I'm staying in because there is football going on out there and it is super annoying, to say the least. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys about my top five. Top five, top five, top five. Top five, top five, top five. Favorite foundations today because why not? And it's going to be a mix of high-end and drugstore because um, that's what it's gonna be. Because I said so, because this is my channel. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna talk about my first favorite ever foundation and it is from the drugstore. I fell in love with this. I'll just let you know what it is. The Revlon Color Stay. Uh, amazing. They have two types. They have the one for normal to dry skin and then they have one that is for combo oily and I have oily skin I did not like the combo oily one I can't even tell you why because I haven't actually used this foundation in a really really freaking long time since discovering like all these other ones but when it came down to my top five I knew this was gonna be my favorites because I loved it for so long but there was something about the normal dry that just applied better it looked better on the skin I just liked it more I really did I didn't care for the combo oily my skin you know everyone's skin changes so maybe I would like it now I just I remember loving specifically the normal to dry uh, this has a demi matte finish which is what I always prefer, a matte, demi-matte, satin finish. I don't like dewy. Don't mess with the dewy finish because my skin's already dewy on its own. I really like this because it's super, super long wearing. It clams for 24 hours. I've never actually worn it for 24 hours, but it lasted for me a really long time. It is a really lightweight foundation, which I appreciate. It's not like you, you can't feel it on your skin, which is really nice. Uh, it has, I'd say, medium to buildable coverage, so you could definitely build this up to being full coverage if you so wish to do. Best part about these guys is that they have 35 shades. They have a huge shade range, so they cater to everyone. My second favorite is another drugstore one, and it is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is my holy grail drugstore foundation. This is my holy grail foundation ever. I know it's never gonna let me down. This is a matte, demi-matte kind of finish. Again, this one is really lightweight. You don't really feel it on the skin, which is nice. It just looks like skin without being like... Cake face, <laughs> wow. And this is also a really long wear. It claims for 24 hours. And I don't ever wear foundation for 24 hours because I'm never awake that long. It's also oil free, which I appreciate. No oils mixing with my oils. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. This is a full coverage foundation, for sure. You could probably go in with a light hand and make it medium, but if you're looking for a full coverage, this baby's gonna give it to you. I don't even necessarily love full coverage foundations, but the way that this one looks on my skin, I like, I can't resist it. It just looks so good. It looks so natural. This is Bay. The downfall to this is the exact opposite of the Revlon Color Stay. This does not have a huge shade range. I think they max out at about 12 shades. Who can find their shade in 12 shades? There are more than 12 shades of people on this earth. L'Oreal, get it together. This is an oil control, so I don't have to blot as much throughout the day when I'm using this foundation, which is awesome because I like to do that nose highlight and I don't need it to look more oily. And then it does highlighty, you know what I mean? And I forgot to say the price, obviously. The price of the Revlon Color Stay is about $10, depending on where you buy it at. And then the Revlon, or not Revlon, the L'Oreal is uh, about 13 bucks, depending on where you buy it. My next product is technically not a foundation. It is a tinted moisturizer, but it is the Balm Shelter by The Balm. Hmm? This is, it's a pretty standard tinted moisturizer. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just love wearing this on most days, um, but especially days that I don't feel like putting a full coverage foundation on, which again is usually always. But this is really easy to go throw on. I actually put this one on with my hands. I don't have an issue with it looking streaky or anything because it's just a tinted moisturizer. You don't need it to look, well, you want it to look flawless, but I don't get non-flawless looks using my hands with this. Uh, it has SPF 18, it's a small amount of SPF, but whatever, we should be wearing sunscreen underneath anyways. This is obviously, it's sheer coverage, but I can build it up to medium if I want. I go in, like I put on one layer, let it dry down, I put on another layer, and then I'm good to go. It has a natural finish, so, 
so it's not gonna be matte on your skin it's not gonna look super dewy either it's just gonna look like skin which is nice I love wearing this um, if I just want to even out my skin tone because I have a little bit of unevenness kind of like in the center of my face I will wear this just to even it out not very many shades in this one either seven shades I think they're really like broad shades so like I wear light but I'm sure several other people that look different from me can wear light and it kind of just meshes with your skin you know what I mean and this bad boy is $25 but I always wait until the balm goes on hotlook.com where they um, like, like basically cut the prices in half so it's not always it's not that frequently anymore but sometimes they go on Hotlook so I will put Hotlook down below and you can check that out if you've never heard of it but that is where I buy my balm cosmetics so that I don't have to pay full price because that's nice my next favorite is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am in the shade Nude. This foundation is a medium to full coverage. It has a pump, which is, it's a pro and a con to some people. I honestly don't care if my foundation has a pump. A huge positive on this is that it has coconut water. So if you have really dry skin, you're gonna love this because it's really gonna help with the added hydration. It has Alpine Rose in it to brighten the skin's appearance and I love that because I have uneven skin tone. So I need all the brightening that I can get. And it also has hyaluronic acid, which sucks moisture into your skin all day, all day. This has a natural finish again, so you're not gonna be matte. And you're not gonna be dewy, it's just gonna look like skin. And the price on the Too Faced Born This Way is $39. So it's not a bad price at all. I bought it because it was $39, and it makes it sound so much cheaper than when it's in the 40s, even though it's only a few bucks off, but whatever. And my number five is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is definitely a newer product. It's definitely newer to me. Still figuring out how I like to wear it. This is modern matte finish, so it's not gonna be super flat. Not gonna be like super, super, you know. This is matte, but really it looks satin type of finish. It is super long wearing. This is probably, well, on my skin, it's for sure the longest wearing that I have. I've worked like a nine hour shift at Sephora, which arguably is not super long, but it's long for me. Under those bright lights, this foundation held up. Held up like nobody's business. This has a technology in it that is made to absorb your oil and keep them, like, keep the excess oil under control. 110% agree with that. I love it. Again, through that nine hour shift, I really only had to blot once towards the end of my shift, like in the nose area, and that is it. It Usually I'm like, <sighs> top to bottom, mm -mm, not with this, nope. It has, if you are familiar with the original Naked foundation, I didn't like that foundation, not on me anyway. It looks beautiful on so many people, but not on me. I didn't like it. But this has three times the amount of pigment of the Naked Skin Foundation. That is crazy, right? Crazy town. With that being said, this is supposed to be about a one pump chump. <laughs> you should be able to get your whole face covered with one pump of this product. It's not meant to be built up and I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't look that great. I have tried it. It just starts to look cakey, which is expected when you have a three times the pigment product. Don't build it up. It's meant for one one round and then that's it. It also helps to blur imperfections. It's what I'm wearing today, which is why I look so flawless. This shiz does oxidize. So I recommend if you're gonna buy this is to either get a sample at Sephora or I just took a swipe and I like kind of put it right down here and then I walked around the store for like a little bit and then to see how bad it was gonna oxidize on me and I was just fine with it. So I bought it. <laughs> But I've seen some clients where we swatch it and we let them walk around and I'm like, girl, that is like three shades too dark for you. So be aware. And that product is 40 bucks. So, all right, guys, that completes this video. Just something a little bit quick, a little bit fun, a little bit simple to do since I didn't have my normal filming space. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you use any of these foundations and if you love them or if they didn't work out for you. Um, if you have oily skin, comment below your favorite foundations because I would love to know what works and what doesn't work because I'm still experimenting obviously. Give this video a big thumbs up 
if you liked it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Ow!